Welcome back to another episode. Um, got back a little bit later today, and the weather is um, it's pretty wet today, so I'm not going to give the birds much of a fly. I'm just going to give them the day off. I'll fly them tomorrow afternoon. I should be home a little bit earlier. There's our little friendly hen. Um, see how she goes. I most likely will put her in the race this weekend with the other ones. We'll pick through them. See, most of them are pretty keen to fly, so I won't open up the door just yet. I just want to give them a little bit of a break. I've got a few things to do too, so I can't really sort of sit around. She's pretty friendly, this little one. She misses me, I think, when I'm away at work all day. So um, i just got a few jobs I want to do, tidy up bits and pieces. I have started going through the list of all the pairs. I'm um, trying to figure out if we do need to try and source another couple of birds from here or there, but um, I need to figure out my pairs a bit more accurately first just because um, I want to make sure if we're buying something we're buying the you know cocks if we need cocks um, or hens if we need hens so I'm just sort of chipping away like I said before the um, realistically if I can fill these 12 boxes here then that's a pretty good start um, I was hoping to get things all over and done pretty quickly but I just don't think that's going to be the case we it might be a drawn out breeding season like it has been before um, but we will just wait and see because um, we may have to breed some numbers this year. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to weigh up how many we might need, um, whether or not we do build a new loft because um, obviously in this side we can really fit 25 to 30 in each one of these sections. So that's around about 50 to 60 birds. And um, even for those 12 pairs, that's... You know it's still going to take a little while um, or do we go a bit further and we've got another eight boxes on the other side whether we fill those as well with pairs and end up with 20 pairs and try and push them a little bit more and try and get some more of that um, you know maybe 80 young birds for the following season um, but I'm just trying to weigh that up all now and do a bit of budgeting and see you know what kind of money we've got to play with because obviously you know another loft or more birds is going to cost a bit of money so um, we just got to kind of juggle things around a little bit more. We had a few birds this year, but we had a bit of a mixed bunch. Mom. Mom. Who's that? You missed, didn't you? Come in too hot. So um, we will... Oh, he's, she's not happy. She's trying to keep that one away from me. So yeah, we will see. There's, um, there is some really big, exciting changes in the works, but um, I'm still trying to iron out all the details and bits and pieces in those. So... Um, yeah, definitely going to change some things. I don't want to get too excited just yet. Where are you going? Of course, we know where you're going. Come here. Come on. It's a beautiful little hen, this one. I'm Like I said, after her performance, she's only done two races and she's done pretty well. I am considering maybe just sitting around I'm, I really need to think about it a bit more um, that's why I'm doing the lists of all the pairs I've got to breed with just because my main aim is to find young birds that stand out that perform well she's performed well she done two tosses at 75 then she went out to um, that 193 she got was it third club and around about some 31st or 33rd fed but then when we took her out to 250 we jumped her out again the following week she got second club and then i think it was like 31st fed or something which was a pretty good effort and um, i don't know if we just keep pushing her or we just sit her aside and maybe pair her up to one of the cock birds but this is what i'm saying we want young birds like this this is what we want this is our main aim little hens like this or cock birds doesn't matter um, is the kind we want to send to one loss isn't it she is very affectionate this little one um, so yeah that's what I'm saying like I really think that we may have to just hold her back for breeding uh, maybe race her next year but like realistically she's the only young bird that's stood out uh, which, which she definitely wasn't my first pick because she was always straight back in the loft she didn't really like loft flying but then as soon as we put her in the race she was just a little champion you know she doesn't want to race yet but she's been doing pretty well and you know for the first year racing um, I'm pretty happy how she's going if we can get a couple birds like this every year 
will be pretty happy so um yeah drop some comments down below let me know what you think and i will see you in the next video no 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 you're not hanging out with the boys today stay over there